Hey everybody, I'm Sarah Peacock and streaming live with you for Country in the UK live from Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in here. I uh, really appreciate you guys having me on. Um, I just had a new record come out back in March and so I'm going to be playing a couple songs for you guys from the new record and uh, have a pinned comment down there below with all of the tips, um, uh, tip links and uh, Patreon links, Venmo on my website store and Spotify, all that good stuff. So um, I'm going to take just a, a minute or two here to share this post onto my, uh, onto my pay, all my pages and that will help us um, get some more people to tune in here. So I'm going to share this live stream on my professional page here. Thanks guys so much for tuning in. Welcome. Uh, welcome to the live stream. Let's see. Um, just a couple more shares here. How's everybody hanging in there with the, uh, with the pandemic? Are you guys doing all right over in the UK? I, I was just, over there back in October with my good friend, uh, Michelle Malone. And, uh, we, we toured all over the UK. We did, um, we did a, a bunch of shows in, um, in Scotland and we went to Ireland and really enjoyed, uh, our, our visit there. And it was a lot of fun to, to meet, uh, to meet so many of you. And we just thoroughly enjoyed our, our visit. So, um, looking forward to coming back. Actually, I was, uh, I was thinking, Perhaps if it's safe to travel by January, I may uh, maybe coming to the Americana uh, Americana Association um, Awards and Festival. So cool! Hey, Kathy, welcome. Hey, John, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, all right, we've got a couple of people that are tuned in now, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I've been uh, I've been sort of quiet these last few weeks. Um, it's been an interesting uh, it's been an interesting time. Uh, you know, we're all just kind of I think I go in between reality and uh, and and shock about the the state of um, the music the music business right now, not being able to tour and not being able to. Um, do what feels like fulfilling my purpose in life, um, which is to, you know, deliver my message um, all over the world to, to to people who show up for live concerts and, and gatherings in public places. And it's just all of a sudden, all that's just gone. And so it feels, um, it feels depleting and deflating and uh, also feels um, kind of, uh, kind of like my, my purpose is kind of like, so what do I do now? <laughs> you know? um, but anyway, I'm just like all the rest of the artists out there doing my best to, um, to keep my head above water and, um, and just find, uh, find some positive um, light in there to hang on to. And so, yeah, um, all that being said, I'm going to play you guys some songs today. Um, hope you enjoy. And thanks for tuning in. Uh, this first one is, um, I think, uh, emotionally and probably spiritually appropriate for me right now to remind myself of this message. Uh, it's called Through, and it's about uh, the only way out is through, and you got to just uh, feel your feelings and be kind to yourself and all that good stuff. So enjoy. If I can even remember how to play, <laughs> it's been like three weeks since I picked up my guitar. There you go. Thank you. 
different ways Sleep the best that we can in the beds that we made We hurt ourselves doing what feels right Anything to keep from looking at what's inside from my uh, my record, uh, my five song EP that came out a couple years back. Um, welcome Sam, how's it going Luann, Amanda, John, Susan, Ronnie, Kim, welcome you guys um, from wherever you're tuning in from, um, whether you're in the UK or here in the States, it's a little early for us over here in Nashville, but um, you guys over in the UK are probably just getting off of work and um, finally getting home, having something to eat, and uh, sitting on the couch. So welcome uh, to the live stream. I'm Sarah Peacock. Thanks for tuning in. Um, all of the tips and stuff, if you feel so inclined, the tip links are in the pinned comment. Uh, so if you check out the pinned comment, uh, there's a PayPal link, Venmo, if you're uh, feeling, feeling inclined. Also have a, a Patreon page and I've been focusing on that a lot lately um, and I'm releasing a lot of exclusive content over on Patreon for my members. So uh, there's there's a lot of cool stuff to check out over there if you're into that. Um, it's a kind of a monthly subscription thing and um, and uh, it's been a it's been a nice little windfall for a lot of touring artists um, that are unable to uh, tour right now. So um, check it out. Would love to have you guys over there join me on that um, fantastic community oriented platform. Let's see. It's been like three weeks since I've been online. Um, and, uh, it's kind of like playing guitar and, and singing as it was, was, as I was doing it, it's sort of feeling a little bit weird, but it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like water skiing, you know, it's like, if you haven't done it in like a decade and then you get out there and, and it's at first it feels kind of weird. And then you're like, Oh yeah, you know, I remember how to do this. Um, my, it's like muscle memory is just it's super trippy. I'm used to playing my guitar like every single day. Um, all right, let's see. Let's bring out a couple of other old songs first. Uh, this is a song called Haystack. Um, it's about community and uh, showing up, you know, as you are. And, you know, that should be enough. God dang it. Um, here we go. Thank you. 
whatever you want from up to the rim of your glass. Just as you are, no matter where you're at, come on down to the down to the down to the head step. Stack, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'm Sarah Peacock. If you're just tuning in, I uh, really appreciate all you guys watching and supporting um, music right now. Welcome, Michael. And let's see, we got Dwight. Hey, Rachel Hurley, how's it going? How are you? Miss you, girl. Uh, Patsy, welcome. Um, Pepe, sweet. Kent, welcome. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate you. Um, all right, um, so I have on this awesome T-shirt, Justice for Ahmad, and uh, I got this in the mail the other day. I'm supporting, um, I'm supporting diversity and justice for uh, this guy here. Um, if you guys are not familiar in the UK, you probably are because I think it hit um, international news. But um, this guy was murdered while he was jogging in his neighborhood simply for the color of his skin. And so um, I just wanted to um, wear this today in support of my uh, African-American friends and um, the social justice justice issues are really important to me and my new record covers a lot of territory in that department. Um, and so uh, with that being said, I would like to kind of introduce a couple of songs of, on my new record to you guys over in the UK if you're just... Uh, tuning in and you never heard of me before. Um, uh, would like to, let's see what we want to start with. Um, I'll play this, uh, the title track to my new record. It's called Burn the Witch. Um, let's see. Um, and uh, so, you know, this, this, this song tells the story of the Salem Witch Trials um, in 1692. And here in the U.S. and then um, you know all over the world, really, there's there's history of uh, burning people at the stake. You know, it's kind of it was kind of like a common, uh, I guess, punishment. Or um, you know, if you're on like a witch hunt, you know, you catch the witch and burn her at the stake or whatever. And um, you know, my my co-writer and I thought it best to just tell the story. Um, you know, historically speaking, kind of the, the turn of events uh, in in that time period and then hope that people would sort of read between the lines um, and how we continue to ostracize and dehumanize people who are different and um, people of color, for example, um, this wonderful, gorgeous young man who um, was killed and uh, also the LGBT community, um, immigrants here in the United States, um, uh, people who are incarcerated, any marginalized people group, um, you know, we sort of, uh, we, we just, we, we dehumanize, marginalize them, 
uh, for being different than us or, um, or just because we're afraid. So fear does a lot of really screwed up stuff. And, uh, so it's part of my mission and purpose in life to sort of, I don't know, um, spread the message of love. And, uh, I think that's, that's what it's really all about. And I hope my songs carry that, that message and I hope it resonates um, with you guys. And so this, uh, this song is the title track. It's called burn the witch and, um, hope you enjoy it. Sarah Peacock. Uh, welcome. All right, cool. So you got, we got David. David Hines says, can you tell me about the guitars that I use? Well, this one is uh, called Waterloo, and it's ba made by my good friends at Collings Guitars, and they're actually based in Dripping Springs, Texas. Um, but I, I love this guitar a lot. It's a small body. It's kind of um, got like a little vintage... Um, a vintage like Gibson kind of feel to it. Um, but I love it. And then I also have this, uh, Martin HD 28 B that I love David. 
And um, this is a, a great, a great sounding guitar. And um, I use um, LR bags, Anthem pickups, and these guitars as well. So you can see it's installed right here on the inside of the sound hole. That is the info and the lowdown for number one on my guitars. Joe, welcome. Um, let's hope so. I really miss touring. Welcome. Hey, Lisa. Miss you, girl. Um, welcome, Laurie, Kelly. How's it going? Jana. Um, thanks, guys, so much for tuning in. Um, nice shirt. Thank you. Glad you like my shirt. This is my justice for a mild shirt. Um, and I'm just um, supporting the cause because uh, social justice is my jam. So thanks for watching. Um, the, the, if you feel like tipping, there's a link for all the tips and stuff um, in a pinned comment. So if you want to check that out, if you're feeling so inclined. And also, um, if you haven't uh, checked it out already, I have a Patreon um, website. And I'm doing a lot of stuff on Patreon. Uh, right now, I'm ex releasing a lot of exclusive content to my members. Um, and let's see, I did a, a song and a video recently. Um, I gave a writing a cookbook. So I, I released a recipe last week and I've already had a couple people send me notes that they've made, um, the recipe that I sent out, which, um, makes me really, really happy. Um, and so if you are so inclined, check it out. It's just five bucks a month to join at the basic, uh, membership level. And, um, it's, uh, it's kind of where I'm focusing a lot of my energy right now because, uh, you know, not really not able to tour and, um, and so, yeah, I mean, uh, that support that I'm getting from my Patreon tribe is is really helping me with um, getting through this pandemic. Uh, but I think in the long term, it's a great um, it's a great windfall uh, for people like myself who are over toured and um, and uh, exhausted from so much touring over the years. You know, trying to create a better home and tour life balance. It's healthy to be home and be rested. I, I wouldn't go so far to say that it's healthy for me to be home for 12 consecutive weeks straight with nothing to do. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's see. We have a special request from my friend Kent. So I'm going to play this song for my friend Kent. Um, this is a song called Mojave, and I hope you enjoy it. See, I'm, I'm a little, I'm struggling a little bit today. Let's see, I have to remember my own songs and remember how to even play and sing guitar at the same time. <laughs> I've been doing this 15 years and I've never taken so long of a break um, as I have recently. It's like water skiing or riding a bike. It kind of comes back, but it feels a little wobbly at first. <laughs>
wish I could stay. Was a song called Mojave from my most recent record release. Um, that was a request for Kent. And I just got another request from Sam, my friend Sam Miller. Sam, you want to hear Lady MacGyver? I got you. I got you. I got you, bro. All right. Hey, guys. How's it going? Uh, all right. Welcome, Megan, Gary, Michelle up in New York. How are you doing, buddy? Um, uh, Angela, the Grassmeyers, Betty, welcome. How's it going, guys? Um, yeah, man, I've been sort of quiet for the last three weeks. This whole live streaming thing feels a little, feels like super socially awkward right now. I haven't come into contact with a lot of humans in the last 12 weeks. And I haven't been singing and playing my guitar as I usually do either, so it feels a little wobbly. But thanks for tuning in. And um, we got a song here. This is a song called um, Lady MacGyver. Oh, Megan wants to hear jeans. Unfortunately, I haven't played that song in like a decade. So um, I don't even really remember it. <laughs> um, you kind of got to give me a little more heads up so I can practice the song if you want to hear, girl. Um, all right, here we go. There's Lady MacGyver for Sam and maybe some of you other strong independent ladies. By the way, there's a virtual tip jar. Um, all your virtual tip love would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, certainly not required. It's a free show, but if you're feeling like you want to, then I would say no, and I wouldn't be mad about it. <laughs>
all you wonderful people thanks for tuning in laura and jesse megan um all right let's see we got another song or two we can do here um all right i got a request here from uh from lori all right let's see the song is a uh, Songs called the Cool Kids. So you gotta get it tuned up here, okay? Yeah, this song's called the Cool Kids. Um, I wrote this song from my childhood memory of being bullied in school, and um, and uh, this this song is kind of it's kind of based around the uh, the idea that hurting people hurt people and. You know, when I realized that, I kind of had a new perspective on the cool kids. You know, we all know the cool kids growing up, high school, middle school, either maybe you were a cool kid or maybe you wanted to be one or wanted to be friends with them. But, um, you know, I was bullied a lot in school, so I I, uh, I never was a cool kid. And, you know, when I think about all the people that used to bully me in school, you know, I think, you know, how how they must have been hurting so much to be able to um, find entertainment and joy out of hurting someone else. And that to me is really sad when you think about it, um, that it's, it's, it's heartbreaking. So I wrote this song kind of with that in mind. And um, I really just, uh, I believe that, that everybody's a cool kid. You know, everybody has some unique purpose here um, on earth to fulfill and, um, it's all about, uh, you know, carrying your message and finding a voice and empowering each other to do that and um, carrying that that love forward into the world. And so um, I hope this uh, resonates with you. It's going to be my last song, and then I'm going to do a little walkthrough of my merchandise store and talk a little bit more about Patreon before I, before I sign off here. Um, and, uh, and so, yeah, uh, thank you so much. This is The Cool Kids. Enjoy. Some point, see 
seems to feed the world kids. song called the cool kids and thank you so much for tuning in uh, it was great to share some songs with you today uh thank you to country in the uk for having me on today i'm going to do a quick little walkthrough of my uh my merchandise store if you want to visit sarahpeacockmusic.com and pick up a little bit of swag um there's a lot of cool stuff there and uh, among those cool things, we have um, guitar string jewelry. So these are, um, this is all jewelry made from my own guitar strings that I play um, and write songs on. And I have a, a great friend who uh, turns it into beautiful jewelry. So um, they're all one of a kind. And so we have bracelets and earrings. And we got necklaces too. And um, these have been doing really well. I mean, I think it's really neat to have a, a part of the music that kind of, kind of lives on. Um, and it's, it's part of the, the magic, you know, of, of, um, of music. And the, I think part of that magic, you know, kind of stays alive in the strings, which is cool. And you can wear the, wear it and take it with you everywhere you go. So little necklaces, there's all kinds of cute little necklaces there. Um, <clears throat> Let's see. Um, we have the Lady MacGyver t-shirt. Check that out. Pretty neat. Um, so I'll have it done by noon. We have the, the brand new um, Love is the Elixir of Life t-shirt, which I love. We have um, this wonderful soft hoodie that's inside out. <laughs> um, so this is a mandala hoodie I love. Um, Let's see, and then we have the official limited edition Burn the Witch uh, t-shirt. We have the women's v-neck version of the Burn the Witch t-shirt here. Voila, there we go. And a couple of older style t-shirts for you. We have Rock Out with your Peacock Out. 
And we have um, the Peacock is My Spirit Animal, which is a, a brand new T-shirt. Um, so we got that. I love it. And then we have also the same T-shirt in um, V-neck. I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> in maroon. Ugh, brain's not working yet. Um, yeah. And then, of course, you know, we have the, the vinyl. I have vinyl and I have uh, the CD versions of my new record that just came out, Burn the Witch. So thank you all so much. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, there is a virtual tip jar if you guys feel so inclined. I would greatly appreciate it. Certainly not required. And mostly I just hope you had fun. And uh, But if you're feeling so inclined, I wouldn't be mad about it. And I would love for you to check out my Patreon page too. Um, I'm going to be releasing some new stuff for my Patreon members uh, later this week. So enjoy. And thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching Country in the UK. I'm Sarah Peacock. And we will see you next time. Thanks, guys.